of that developing story at JFK Airport. A power outage at a terminal in one of the world's busiest airports is stretching now into its second day. And it's centered at the terminal that hosts many international flights. The result, big headache for travelers around the globe as flights are canceled or diverted to other airports. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu with more from Kennedy. It's still just a waiting game at this point as crews still work to restore power to Terminal 1. In the meantime, some of the flights that were supposed to arrive and depart at Terminal 1 are actually doing so uh, from Terminal 4 for the time being. Delays and cancellations continue as Terminal 1 at JFK Airport remains closed following a small fire on Thursday. The scene Thursday as travelers arrived at the airport only to find everything from check-in machines to the arrival and departure board out. About 20 international airlines use this terminal and flights Thursday were delayed, diverted, canceled and even turned around mid-air. Like an Air New Zealand flight that turned around and returned to Auckland eight hours into their 16-hour flight and a flight from South Korea turning around after almost making it to the U.S. We're trying to be flexible. It was a big surprise for us to find out that we were, the announcement as we pull up is, your flight is canceled. Meanwhile, Friday morning at Terminal 4, where the bulk of international flights arrive and depart, there were some changes. And Flight Aware, a website that tracks flight statuses, says there have been 31 canceled and 45 delayed flights Friday morning. The changes confusing and even angering some passengers. We have how many? Six more terminals, seven more terminals here. Why, why you not move all the flights to other terminals or maybe to a New York airport or something? I, I can't imagine this situation happen anywhere. We all had a countdown, all waiting, calling each other. Oh my gosh, we're so excited for Italy, like preparing the rooming, the seating, and then here we are, and we're really upset. The cause of the fire is still under investigation and there is no time frame for when things might return to normal. So airport officials recommend if you are flying out today, make sure you call your airline and check your flight status before arriving at the airport. At